We're not going to let Ireland down. No, Ireland won't let us down. No way. No way. No way. No, no, no. David Bowie, a man in Slane, is a long way from being Aladdin Sane. He's changed his image again, but he's still a huge star. His family's history, in fact, go right back to the 19th century. His great-grandmother uh, was born in County Tipperary. His mother was a child of Irish immigrants. He, he recorded here, he worked here, engaged with lots of uh, artists. So it has been a lifelong relationship with Ireland. He, of course, had a particular interest in Irish writers and painters. He owned uh, Jack B. Yeats' very famous painting, Sleep Sound. He also was, I think, very influenced by the Irish uh, playwright and author Samuel Beckett. There are lots of connections between Bowie and the two artists that I have mentioned. Um, the clown and clowning, the sort of happy, sad clown is a common theme, but also those bigger human themes around alienation, isolation, mental health, mental illness, and so on. A recurring figure in David Bowie's work is the figure of Pierrot, the clown, little Peter. He uses the figure of uh, the clown, as does um, Samuel Beckett in uh, Waiting for Godot. I, I think the central characters in Waiting for Godot are clowns. And Jack B. Yeats painted lots of circuses and clowns in his, uh, in his painting. And again, of course, the circus uh, is, I would argue, a metaphor for migration, for people who are nomadic, people who are moving. And uh, so the clown, this figure of the clown becomes this avatar for, I think sometimes for the outsider, for the outsider artist. And it is something that connects all three men in the work that they do.